Okay, let's do this question 9. Uh, this is uh, equation of circle. So they give us the equation of the circle. They ask us to find the radius and the coordinate of the center. So for me is, uh, I know that schools some use the, the formula 2F and 2G, right? But uh, I don't use that to find the center and the radius, okay? I just completing the square. Why? Because we have to know how to do completing the square because be it EMF or AMF, they always come out completing the square. Huh? So let's use completing the square to find out the radius as well as the center. So how do I do that? I'm going to group the X together. So X squared plus 4X will be together. Then after that, Y squared and 6Y will be together. The minus 12, I shall bring it to the other side, which is 12. So this one, I shall do completing the square. It will be X plus, the plus will follow the plus sign. Huh? Then after that, 4, you shall do it divided by 2. So it's 2 square root and minus. This is forever minus. Huh? Minus back side square. I always call it back side. Why is it back side? The back side is this number. So it's just minus 2 squared. So we do the same to the y. So it will be y minus 3 squared minus 3 squared. So this x plus 2 squared will remain. y minus 3 squared will remain 12. Minus 4, bring over this other side will be plus 4. Minus 9, bring to the other side will be plus 9. So in the end, I get x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to 25. Equals to radius squared. So I'll put it as 5 squared. So in this case, I will know that my center will be equals to minus 2 comma 3 and then my radius will be 5 and put the units which is just units. So this is the two answer for question uh, 9 part 1. Uh. This is question 9 part 1. Okay, so let's move on to part 2. Uh. Okay, so now let's do question 9 part 2. Uh. So we're going to do question 9 part 2. Question 9 part 2 asks us to find the equation of the tangent at the point 1, 7. So usually for coordinate geometry and equation of circle, I will usually just plot the circle, uh, just plot it out. Huh? You don't have to draw very nicely, just to so that you can actually visualize. So I'm going to just draw a circle. Then with the center will be minus 2 and 3. So now let's draw on 1, 7, right? So 1, 7 estimation will be on the right hand side and above this point. So let's say here it's 1, 7. So they say it's a tangent line, so I'm going to draw a line that cuts through this point. Okay, this line doesn't look nice. Okay, so like that. Okay, and I'm going to draw from the center to this point. And we know that properties of circle tell us that radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So this is 90 degree. So your task is to find equation of this line, which is y equals to mx plus c. So the first thing you always have to find the gradient, right? So since I have the two points already, I can find the gradient. I shall label this as point c since it's center. I shall label this as point A. So I have to find gradient of AC. So I have to use the formula y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So for this case, it will be 7 minus 3 over 1 minus minus 2. I get 4 over 3. This is the gradient of AC. But the gradient of the tangent is perpendicular. So when two lines are perpendicular to each other, gradient 1 multiplied by gradient 2 gives you negative 1. So this is an important property that you need to remember. Okay. So let's do the find the gradient of the tangent. So I will have to take negative 1 divided by 4 over 3 and I get minus 3 quarter. So now equation of the tangent now become y equals to minus 3 quarter x plus c. So to find c you need to sub a point which is on the line. And the only point that you have is 1 7. So now I'm going to sub in 1 7. So it becomes 7 equals to minus 3 quarter 1 plus c. So after subbing in, you will get uh, c equals to 31 over 4. So in this case, equation of my tangent, okay, I will put it this way, it will be y equals to minus 3 quarter x, okay, plus 31 over 4. And this is the answer for question 9, part 2. Okay.